Simplicity is hard to build, easy to use, and hard to charge for. Complexity is easy to build, hard to use, and easy to charge for. Chris Sachi. My friends, we keep it simple here so that it is easy to use. Hard to figure out when we were originally putting all this together. It took years to come up with our program. And of course, what do we charge you for it? Nothing. It is free. And again, we keep it simple and it works. Let's talk about how it's working. We told you at the end of this last week, we saw things as they were bottoming and of course expecting it to move around, which is what it is doing today. We see the S&P 500 up 0.96% right now, just a four minutes left in the market. We can see where the Thursday, Friday, two-day candle green spinning top had pushed through that weekly trend line, nice big green up candle, two days marching up on the half day, going in the right direction with this change. What about the NASDAQ 100? We said it even looked even more positive. We, of course, had that high volume where things hit the interim low, nice volume the week after that, this last week, Nice volume, average volume on that green spinning top. And of course, today up 1.06%. Not bad, is it? Now, let's look at where we are on 20-year U.S. government bonds. I told you that as things were moving down, we blew through. Now, we had a red uh, doji, not the best of signs to jump in on, but we had that high volume. Green volume, which simply means that things opened last week higher than that prior close. And of course, we didn't have the volume on that lower low. We had it the week before and then things turning around. So not as positive on this turnaround uh, as we are on the others, but still moving in the right direction, looking good. Only up 0.35% for the day, but you can see as things are moving in the right direction, going into a day and a half there on the half day charts. What about gold? Well, we're waiting to see what gold is going to do. Up for the day, 1.04%. But of course, we hit that last high in gold back on the week starting the 8th of April, and then a lower high, and then doji two weeks ago. Last week, a red spinning top, and this week, a doji. What is gold going to do? Blowing off that much steam, it's going to be hard for it to get itself going again, but it could. Uh, again, I tend to think it's going to keep sinking down, but I could be wrong. And we don't have anything helping us out a lot other than that highest high with all that volume. And then last week, going from the green doji to the red spinning top with all that volume tends to make me think, Gold is going to continue to go down. Lastly, we look at HODL up 1.61% for the day. 24-hour Bitcoin is actually down right now, 1.30%. But as we see, things have pushed through. Now, if I update the candle to where things were the last two weeks, you can see it's pretty darn flat. I don't like trend lines that way, but... We do see that where Bitcoin is right now, it is below that. Let's check it out on the 24 hour a day Bitcoin chart. You can see it's below the weekly trend line. So even though Bitcoin is up on the Bitcoin ETF price wise, we're still struggling to get up there. So we'll see as this week continues. I'm hoping for another down week. If it does want to turn around now, that's fine. I'd like a nice clean reset down for a few weeks before Bitcoin takes off again because I'm hoping for a nice clean turnaround with higher than average volume. We're getting closer and closer to getting our volume here on our new Bitcoin chart. It takes 20 weeks because of course we have our volume bar set at 20. We already have it on the two day and you can see there's not a lot of volume here lately. You can see it on the half day. We've had uh, you know a few days of some decent volume. But of course, we want some good, clean, high weekly volume that we can see. Now, when we look at the 24-hour day Bitcoin where we've been using that, you can see that this latest low 
didn't have even average volume then. So again, won't volume and, and price to match. Won't nice good lows with nice high volume, nice clean turnaround with a sp green spinning top and then taking off again. So we'll see. We'll be patient. We'll wait, watch, and see. We love to hear from you. Don't hesitate to reach out to us, cw at chartingwealth.com. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.